Hello dear brethren, today I want to make a video to talk a little bit more about the two witnesses and if time allows a little bit um, also what is going on at the moment and why all this is taking place. So I'm going to start by speaking and explaining about the revelations that and visions that the Most High has given me in regards to the two witnesses, more so um, updating um, about the male witness and also uh, to talk about the visions that he showed me in regards to the female witness. So first I'm going to start about speaking about the female witness. And he showed me first uh, the female witness cut walking. Um, and then he said that uh, many people will come to her trying to work with her to, you know, for their uh, fashion and f as like fashion or brands to clothing and um, having her, um, this cut walking, it doesn't mean that she really be, will be cut walking, but uh, because they will see her as a role model. So many people will see her as a role model. And so they will want to work with her. Um, but obviously that's not what she's here for and she gonna reject all these things um, and this is gonna be other things that are gonna make people really angry with her especially um, those who rule the world through money because obviously they, they won't be able to get any money through her or through her image to use her image to get money and you're going to be a bit revolted with that because she's not like how most people are interested in money or want to use her image for money or anything. And uh, another vision that he showed me was she becoming, literally becoming, starting to become famous slowly, slowly. And um, there was a lot of people wanting to come close to her people that already know that she's the, the female witness coming close to her, uh, religious people, also other people who are not clean from Christ and um, showing she's getting a bit revolted with that um, because they're trying to pretend to be something else but she can feel, she could feel through her spirit who they truly were and her tr and they threw intentions as well towards her and so she was like backing off backing them off and backing away from them there was one lady in particular she was a Jezebel um, possessed with a Jezebel spirit and come, trying to come close to the female witness and she was like being really savage on the person and the person just walked away straight away um, she was really anxious about the fact of becoming famous. She seemed really anxious with that. Uh, so then she prayed for God for help. And then she became empowered. That's when she could, you know, back all those evil people away from her. So this was pretty much um, what is going to take place in her life soon. She is soon to, became, to become famous. And I believe that all of this coronavirus issue will definitely, if it carries on like this, will definitely um, bring the rabbits out of the hole of the hiding place because um, this coronavirus is not actually what it, what it shows. In the TV, it is more into it and more will become worse, okay, into it, from it. It's trying to... This coronavirus is trying to lead us in a place, in a bad place, in a bad situation where we're going to be between the blade and the wall, not having any way out. That's what they're trying to make us, um, leading us into this situation of, of a no way out, but only if we take especially this vaccine. So please, my brothers and sisters, if there is any vaccine on the way, do not take it. Because this vaccine is not, uh, not a godly stuff. 
Um, the Most High showed me visions about this as well, of me taking my little one, my four-year-old, to the to take a vaccine. And after that, straight on, straight on after that, he wasn't the same boy anymore. The vaccine had affected his nervous systems, his brain, and he was behaving very abnormal. He wasn't the same boy anymore. He kept screaming all the time, couldn't control the the impulses of um, of the injection in his body and how it was affecting his nerve system. So please, my dear brothers and sisters, do not take any vaccine, any injection um, that they're going to bring. This is just a, a mess up trap that they're trying. This, this coronavirus is simply a trap that they're bringing. So if you catch any colds or flus, or you be coughing or sneezing, don't be thinking straight away there is coronavirus because there is a great chance of not being, okay? Uh, they are, there are a lot of things that, that they are not disposing to people. Um, they never expose the truth. It's all about lie and deceit. So don't be going around watching the news and thinking that everything that is there is true because it's not true. Probably a quarter of it is true. And the rest is all a lie, okay? So be very careful. You do better not to watch any news. You'll feel happier. You'll feel uh, definitely better. In terms of uh, the male witness, what he's going through right now in his life, he's going through a lot of pressure from the Most High. He's going through pretty much what the same remedy that he used to Jonas he's using now to the male witness. Um, everything that he'll put hand is not gonna go through. It's not gonna go through, sorry. Uh, because, especially in terms of work and everything, his financial situation will be becoming really bad and affected the same way as, as happened to, to Jonas, um, to Jonah. And uh, when he was going for fishing, they acting like nothing is uh, happening, ignoring the call of the Most High. And uh, everybody that was in that boat nearly died because of him. And he knew that everything was going down in his place of work because uh, of him. So once he was thrown out, he requested to be thrown out of the boat. Um, that storm went away straight away. Um, so pretty much the male witness, it is affecting, um, because of him, other people probably might be affected too in his place of work. He's going to be pretty much like a curse in his place of work and stuff like that in his financial life until he really decides to do the call and accept the call of the most high. Um, if he doesn't do it. There is um, the scripture that speaks about about it, the importance of answering the call of the Most High, which we can find it in um, in Ezekiel. I'll put the scripture in the description because I don't have it in mind, but I know it's in Ezekiel, which talks about how important it is to uh, answer our calls in being a watchman. Because if we don't speak and we don't preach what we, we are meant or prophesy, the things that are to come, but they are to come to make people to turn away from their sins, then people's blood will be in our heads. So it is very important that he answers the call and does what he's supposed to do or else everybody else's blood is in his head. He, he will be seen accountable for all of that. So obviously he's gonna go. He's at the moment going through a lot of pain and a lot of frustration. He doesn't know what he, what to do about this issue. But he's learning, from what I've heard, uh, from the brother that, you know, helps me with these vis uh, videos, um, and we're discussing the the visions together that we both receiving from the Most High. And he says that the male witness is actually trying, you know. So. But at this moment, also, what we are going to, it is all in Revelation 9. It is Revelation 9 taking place, which I have made a video, my last video about it. It is also 
Revelation is not not Revelation, but um, Daniel, Daniel twelve verses eleven to twelve, which talks about um, they putting a stop or taking our daily daily sacrifice away, which is happening with these lockdowns. Uh, we not being able to to go in places of worship, but um, we still can worship the most high even the way we are doing now right now thank god for the internet which useful use um which it says there also that from this time to three years three years and a half later then it's going to be the end of um abomination of desolation which i mentioned about it as well in the video uh, if you can watch again, or if you haven't watched it yet, in a video that talks about Babylon the Great and the Third World War, and also um, the abomination of desolation, explaining about everything. And all of this is all to lead us um, to Revelation 13, which I'm going to make videos while well, talking about that, and the Most High has explained more things to me. Um, in regards to Revelation 13 and what they are planning and how they're going to bring things about and um, what ideas they are taking from in order to bring this Revelation 13 into place. So it is quite upsetting and absolutely revolting. It was quite revolting to me, it still is that they admire wicked people and want to copy their ways to to also um bring other use their they evil tactics to bring their own plans so this is all copying from past experience it's happened before but now it's been in a greater and bigger way worldwide um so I'm going to make a video about it, explaining what, what ideas they are taking it from. Okay, so all I want to say also is when the female witness becomes famous or, become, or be revealed in the world, this is also a time that we all, children of the Most High, will have also the opportunity to fight and stand against all of this injustice being brought about so don't be thinking that the most high doesn't have nothing in place to destroy all these because he does he will use the two witnesses as well as the one one hundred one hundred uh, one hundred and forty four thousand people to destroy all this and to fight against all this and that will be a, a great uh, encouragement for everyone that has the call to serve the most high to unite against all this and they will also be empowered through the two witnesses to fight and battle against all this and um by god's grace other people will also join in other beings of light will also join in to help us all so this is a message of encouragement for you to know that the most high has all um, all under control no matter what you're going through right now please do not accept any vaccine do not accept do not be going to hospitals or stuff like that if you feel ill try to get some medications at home homemade stuff especially and pray a lot and this Passover especially to use this Passover as in prayers uh, because the world needs us doesn't matter if we can go to churches or not we can still do in our own home places um, and still unite in prayers in this way so my dear brethren I pray that you appreciate this video I pray that you have a, a blessed week and I say all these words they keep God in protected also sorry and uh, nothing wrong to happen to you no illness no nothing and I love you all have a blessed week, week, and I sell these words in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Bye-bye.